The lights are on and the holiday spirit has arrived at Explorer Park as the first night of Illuminites kicked off about 30 minutes ago. Oh yeah, of course, the big attraction is the lights, but that's not the only thing to enjoy during your visit. 10 News anchors Brittany McGraw, John Carlin live right now with a look at some of the other activities you and your family can check out. Good evening to you, John and Brittany. Good evening. Well, Illuminites flipped the switch at 5 o'clock this afternoon. And one cool thing that we've been able to witness as families have streamed in is the kids, as they come in, they are just so excited to see all of these lights. You see a family just walk by, and one little girl was just, wow, you know, and you could see her dad right behind her. And he was grinning from ear to ear because of how happy she was. Right. Of course, the lights, that's the big attraction out here. But once your family finishes walking this half mile trail of lights, there are plenty more activities that you can enjoy. One feature that returns from last year is the artisan market. The market has handcrafted items from 50 local and regional artisans and is a perfect way to shop for the holidays and support local businesses. It's open starting at 11 a.m. on days that Illuminites is open. From woodworking um, to pottery to handbags, to Christmas ornaments, we have everything you need here at Explore Park. So come on out and get your Christmas shopping done early at Explore Park. And of course, there are also other activities that you can enjoy, including marshmallow roasting. There's also a canned food drive. We also, John, we've seen ballerinas. The Southwest Virginia Ballet is also performing on certain nights, and tonight is one of those nights. And we saw some people eating kettle corn. Yes. <laughs> and, and I won't even be allowed back in the house if I don't bring some kettle corn <laughs> make, with me. Make so sure you do that. We'll make sure we get some kettle corn. So, But we're going to go off and we're going to talk to some of these wide-eyed people who are out here, and, and, and when we come back tonight for uh, 10 news at six o'clock we'll be talking a little bit about their initial reactions to this year's version of illuminites but i can tell you it's absolutely magical